let's get it let's go it's your boy dg got hustle man and we back with a whole lot of hustling man today's video we gonna show y'all how to get loads and contracts without an authority that's right you don't need an authority to go this route i'm gonna show you guys a few gems and a few keys on how to research and get yourself some loads and get your cargo van or your sprinter van moving now most definitely like share and subscribe Hit that bell for post notifications. Whenever I drop a video, you will be the first to most definitely see it. And let's get into it, y'all. Let's see how we get loads without an authority. Let's go. All right, y'all, let's go. This is one of the gems I'm shooting y'all right here, man. So this is Spokes Logistics. Now, they get contracts with companies all over the, the country, pretty much. Um, but the main, you know, broker to these contracts is Spokes Logistics. Now, this lady's name is Anna De La Cruz. Um, she's one of the HR reps over at Spokes Logistics, and she always shoots out emails to different contracts. Now, this one is a contract in Benicia that's requiring a high roof sprinter van. OK, and you'll be locked in Monday through Friday, 9.30 a.m., probably to about six. It's an eight and a half hour day. It's a 1099 position. Uh, you must have your business entity set up because you will need that EIN to get paid through your business. Um, now, this specific contract requires you to be over 21, must go undergo a background check, motor vehicle report, and a drug test, um, a TB test with negative results, and a COVID vaccination may be required as determined by the customer. All right. So, um, yeah, some of these contracts that they send over most of them you have to have that negative tb test and uh some of them a covid vaccination card is required but some of them are not um this position this current uh, contract right here offers up to two thousand a week um 12 to 18 stops a day typically 110 to 140 miles per day sometimes less um, and you'll be dropping off durable medical equipment as you can see so this is a medical route um, you'll be doing delivery, sometimes installations, maybe oxygen tanks or something like that. Who knows? Um, the heaviest piece weighs 50 pounds and you may have one or two of those per day. So that's cool. You, you won't be dealing with a lot of heavy uh, equipment that you'll be dropping off or installing. Um, so to train you starting off, they're giving you $120 to de a day to train. So you're going to, you know, do orientation and train, probably stop by a few houses um running with somebody probably for those few days um so they're paying you 120 dollars a day to do that that's cool paying you to train after that after you run by yourself you're looking to get anywhere between 325 and 400 a day that's pretty decent averaging about 600 miles per week and 50 cent a mile offered by all weekly miles exceeding the average you know so that's cool so if you go over those 600 miles per week they're then offering you the 50 cent per mile now, required insurance. Now, you could have your own insurance, the one mil liability um, and a 300K cargo, or they're offering their insurance to where they'll take out of your weekly uh, settlements pretty much. So, you know, they're offering the commercial liability, 300K, 4.46% of your settlement will come out of that. Um, 980 a week for the 25,000 uh, cargo insurance. That's not bad at all. They're also offering workers' compensation for contractors um, of a million dollars. So they'll take eleven eighty four a week and maintenance fee thirteen fifty a week. You cannot dodge that maintenance fee. I'm seeing uh, with these contracts through Spokes Logistics that thirteen fifty a week is basically for you to get paid and everything. It's the maintenance fee for them to run the, the payment system and all of that. I talked to her about that. So yeah. You can obtain your TB test from Walgreens, CVS, thirty to forty dollars typically. And yeah, like I said, man, so recruiting specialist uh, Anna De La Cruz, Perez, Spokes Logistics. Her email is at the at the top again. I'll put that down below in the description. So this is one of the gems right here, y'all. One of the gems. They need people right now with high roof cargo vans. But if you get at her and email her. Pretty much she'll let you know if they have other contracts and other spots and what they require. She'll send you an email. Bam. So let's get it. Let's go, man. One of the gems right here. Putting y'all on. Let's go.
So now we're going to do Google, man. The simple Google, right? So we're going to type in cargo van contracts, right? And uh, you could type in, let's see, let's see Las Vegas since that popped up, right? So employment, indeed. Indeed is another spot to where you can go in and type in cargo van contracts and you will see some stuff, man. You for sure will see some stuff. But we're going to go through Google right now. So we're going to click on this blue area right here where it says jobs near Las Vegas, Nevada. We're going to click on that, right? So that's going to put us in there. Bam. Watco, Waco, I don't know. Sprinter type vans, a must. Driver's license required, of course. Responsibilities, local delivery only, Monday through Friday, some Saturdays, mainly during peak periods. Good old peak season. Um, benefits. I don't know why they have general liability and commercial. So maybe they provide that. And you can make up to 60K a year dealing with them. Uh, let's see. Looking, White Co. is looking for independent contractors with cargo vans and route deliveries in Las Vegas, Nevada area and surrounding areas. Local delivery only, yada, yada, yada. Must have the following. Sprinter vans is a must. They do not provide any vehicles, all right? So, uh, up-to-date Android or smartphone, iPhone, you know what I mean? Either one of the two. Customer service orientated attitude. Superior worth ethic excuse me superior worth superior work ethic <laughs> i had to break that down slow i got tongue twisted all right and an ein of course you know what i mean so a commercial auto one mil with a 100k cargo all right so that's basic that's what i'm saying a lot of people say oh you don't need commercial insurance you waste the money nah having commercial insurance gives you more opportunities for sure as y'all seeing a lot of these companies require that some of them will provide it it's just all on you and what you look for before you even get your cargo van or you might get your cargo van and might not have insurance. Make sure you you know do the research and look. You might find companies like these that do not require it and you won't have to get commercial because they will provide it for you. All right. So that's Google. Let's go. Well, let's, let's keep looking at Google. So you got pickup out there. Let me see. Drive Force East LLC. Here's a, a gem, another company you just look up, just go directly straight to their website, right? Drive Force East LLC. So you want to go directly to their website and just see what they got on there. You know what I mean? Oh, earnings cap, excellent rates and density, bi-weekly settlements, local area deliveries. You know what I mean? Delivery service requirements, prior delivery or courier service preferred. Your owned or leased vehicle, cargo van or 14 through 16 foot box truck, available Monday through Friday during the day, dolly required, ability to lift up 40 pounds, right? iPhone or Android required, fluency in English, right? Screening requirements, valid driver's license, motor vehicle record check, criminal background, and drug tests, all right? So most of these places, as you can see, they will run a background on you and they will require a drug test for most of these companies, not all. Let's see, Ambu Freight. Sounds like an ambulance or something. Be a U.S. citizen. Well, 21 years of age, not the 23. You should have a minimum of four straps. Your vehicle should not be over 10 years of age or else full inspection. So uh, they're giving you that... That kind of leeway if you come with a full inspection if your vehicle is over 10 years old right all decals should be removed unless the company is under your authority right so if you have authority and your company name is on your vehicle that's the only way they let that slide um, must have registration and insurance if you would like to make deliveries to canada or mexico you must have a non-expired passport and a two-dose vaccination certificate yeah. All right, benefits. You can always negotiate the prices with your dispatchers as well. Min mon minimum average monthly price seven thousand or more. It depends on the truck and the driver's loads. Right, so you can make up to seven k a month. All right, ten hour shift, twelve hour shift, eight hour shift. That's on you. All right, so stuff is on here. Right, this is Google, man. We just sliding through Google. Right, SDG Logistics. I mean. Team, company, driver, OTR, drive van. Well, experience must be with 50 foot 
trailer. All right, so that's looking like a rig right there. But this is just to show y'all, right? Alliance Cargo Inc. This is to show y'all how easy it is to find work if you do not have an authority. You know what I mean? 30 to 35K a month. They must have added an extra zero in that unless we talking big rig. Take home 90% of the load total. 48 states. Welcome to apply. Yeah, I don't know. This might be, this might be, oh yeah, CDLA required. Yeah, that's that's rig right there for sure. I'm going to say. So yeah, man, it is a way, right? And you could type in any state up here. I just typed in Las Vegas. You could type in any city, any state, and that same information will pop up on Google. Simple as a quick Google, y'all. Don't let these people fool y'all. Once again, it's your boy DG Got Hustle showing y'all the gems and ways that you can get work for your van. If your vehicle is on four wheels, and in most cases, some even two, you can get money for sure. You can get you some money. It's out here. Let's go. So here's another gem I'm going to shoot y'all real quick, man. I actually did a load through them. Well, my dispatcher booked me a load and it came through this logistics company all right so it was on my bol so of course what did i do i looked them up right so that's what you want to do if you receive bols most times you want to pay attention to the companies that you're running for on that bol um so with this one rp logistics expediting and logistics we're going to go ahead and click on employment right so we're going to go to driver and I actually talked to the, the lady. I actually called them. She told me what to do and what to expect and what was required, right? So we're going to go to apply now under opportunities, driver application. All right. So insurance, you must have that, uh, that commercial, right? And it's saying you must have a valid commercial driver's license or a valid driver's license for vehicles 10,000. You know what I mean? So that means commercial over the 10,000, regular driver's license for under 10,000. Um, no current license revocations or suspensions. Minimum of three months experience in expediting. You can work that. Trust me. No history of DUI. All vehicles must be a 2008 or newer. A lot of people always ask, how old can their vehicle be? With this company, a 2008 or newer will get you in. No decals on your truck or your van. So it must be, you know, more than likely completely just blank white, right? So now, you know, basic information you're going to enter, name, address, all that stuff, email, what type of phone you have. You know what I mean? Best time to contact you. What position are you playing for? A cargo van, sprinter van, straight truck, you know, straight truck fleet owner, uh, tractor, tractor fleet owner, company driver. You know what I mean? So more than likely you want to go with that cargo van owner operator or sprinter van owner operator. Um, you know, most of the basic stuff that they ask you in most applications. Let them know how you heard about them. Experience in these type of vehicles. If you have Sutter, Sprinter, and Cargo Van, you may have other, you know, basic driver license information. How many states have you ran? We running them. Yes, sir. You know, so basic stuff. Dot number is not required. You do not have to put that. Um, you want to put your equipment type, of course. You want to let them know your equipment type, all the information to your equipment. And bam, after you fill that out, right? Cool. Okay, they, after you fill out that application, they will send you an email, basically, and it look like this, right? So we're going to go in here. Bam, bam, bam. Owner operator to finish your owner operator application. We need these documents signed and emailed back to us so we can process your application and set you up in the system, right? So let's click on the first one, right? So these are the requirements, all right? So a completed W-9 tax form, all right? Then they're gonna wanna sign driver agreement, a copy of your driver's license, copy of the social, copy of your FEIN, basically your EIN to your business. So you will need that LLC with the EIN, man. Avoid a check to set up that direct deposit, excuse me, direct deposit. Uh, email where your run sheets could be sent. 
And basically, you can send back the BOLs, a copy of your truck registration, dimensions and load space, maximum weight, an emergency contact, and a return callback phone number, right? Cool. Bam. It didn't pretty much go through uh, the whole system of what you need. You know, it'll pretty much it's what a carrier packet kind of look like. You know what I mean? So this packet, completing this packet and getting it back to them will pretty much get you in the game. So, bam. Now yeah, as you can see, we be on U-Ship too. U-Ship is another good one. So make sure y'all checking out these companies, right, y'all? Because that's what you want to do. You most definitely want to holler at them, even if you don't have your authority, because sometimes you can ride under them. Sometimes these are broker companies, and sometimes you go under their MC and die. You know, brokers have authorities, too. So you'll most definitely be able to get loads through a broker directly, through broker companies, without your authority. All right, let's go with Craigslist, man. Let's 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 see how you can find some stuff on Craigslist and be successful and just just finding cargo van loads without an authority. A good thing about having a cargo van is you can do this from anywhere in the country, right? So you can check in different states, see what states is kind of cracking more than others, right? So you're gonna click on jobs, right? We in Minneapolis right now, Minnesota. So we clicked on jobs. We're gonna type in cargo van. Bam, we're going to hit that search. And everything for cargo vans is in here, right? So we're going to click on that. Deliveries, 15 plus orders per day, six days a week. Requesting a daily rate per vehicle. Box trucks with lift gate. Cargo vans must have valid insurance and valid driver's license. Weekly pay, right? All right, so that's all they offer. And I ain't really saying too much. Um, let's see what this second one is talking about. $500 sign-on bonus. Uh, let's see. So no hazmat, no Canada, 24-7 live dispatch, weekly pay, direct deposit, percentage pay. Um, let me see. No upfront out-of-pocket fees. All right, got the number right there. You know what I mean? Let's see. Let's see if we can see something else. No, we ain't doing no lease to own. Couriers use your vehicle, elite transportation system, and ink, right? Compensation up to 150. Let's see. Simple dot requirements. We will help you. I don't know. Let's go to a different city or a different state. Let's see. Um Let's see, U.S. states. Let's see, let's do, uh, we always hear about Florida, right? We always hear Florida is just crazy. I ain't gonna lie, Orlando is cracking in Florida. So once again, we're gonna hit jobs. And once again, we are gonna type in cargo van. Bam, search. All right, I think I clicked on this one before as well. So 1400 weekly um, contractor driving a cargo van or small box truck, 40 plus stops daily, settles between 800 and 1400 weekly. I'm guessing that that range right there is depending on the size of your cargo area. So the bigger your cargo area, more than likely, the closer you'll probably be to getting that 1400 weekly compensation right there. Right. Bam. Let's see now. Who is this again? This is. Courier Express, Orlando, you feel me? And I got the number right there. Minivans as well, you know what I mean? If you're in a minivan, you probably be making closer to that 600 weekly, possibly, possibly more if you go hard, just depending on your hustle. So you provide your own vehicle, must be 18 plus, good driving record, no more than three violations in three years, uh, drug screen, Felony background check, ability to lift and carry packages of various sizes and weight. All right. So they offer they also require auto insurance. You know what I mean? It's probably commercial more than likely, but it's probably not because it just says auto insurance. So that'll be something you want to call them and speak to them about and see if it's auto regular general auto insurance or commercial auto what they require. Bam. You know what I mean? It's just gems everywhere, man. Craigslist. You can find it, man. Uh, 
high top cargo van contracts. Seven fifty to a thousand plus per week. You know what I mean? Get paid every Friday by direct deposit. Ten ninety nine form requires that insurance plus EIN. Once again, you want to have that entity set up. LLC, S Corp, C Corp, whatever it is that you choose that works with your tax situation, whatever you got going on. But yeah, man, let's go to a different city. Let's let's do one more city real quick. Let's see. All right, we in Florida. Let's see. Let's go to. I don't know. Let's do Texas. I ain't did Texas. Dallas, Fort Worth. Let's go. Jobs. Let's go. You already know the deal. Uh, we're going to type in that cargo van. Bam, bam, bam. Search. Sprinter and cargo. Let's say your first one, Dallas. V3. Yeah, I heard of V3 a lot. So V3, you'll see V3 uh, everywhere. If you, you know, look for these type of things on the internet, if you research, you'll kind of always see V3 transportation pop up. Call us today. No CDL required or experience necessary. Must be at least 23 years of age. And a lot of people probably wondering why is it always 23? Um, due to insurance, when you add somebody onto your insurance and they're under 23, more than likely um, that payment is going to be high for them. Uh, 23 is just that that age. I don't know. Uh, it's just cheaper for insurance. If you're 23 and older. Um, you know, on someone's insurance or on your own insurance, I'm pretty sure more than likely it'll be a lot cheaper for sure if you're over 23. So that's why a lot of companies require that you are 23 to drive with them. It's all in saving money, y'all. It's all a game. Let's see. Dollars V3 again. Let's go back. Lug. Of course, I don't know. Y'all heard of Lug. Lug is like an app for sure. Um, ain't too much going on in Dallas. Let's see. Uh, let's do one more since it wasn't too cracking in Dallas. Let's do Wisconsin. And Milwaukee. Jobs. Stop playing at Cargo Van. Let's see. V3, of course, like I said. V3 again, probably. Yep. Now hiring cargo van driver, local distribution route, easy work. <laughs> yeah, easy. All right, six to ten stops, four to five hours to complete, Monday through Saturday, dedicated routes, three year contracts. You will run some of the same routes every day. They deliver mail. Local post offices, okay, no home door-to-door -door deliveries. That's what I like. I hate doing homes. I don't know. That might just be me. But I do not like doing residential deliveries. I don't know what it is. Uh, flat daily rate, 100 to 250 a day. Six to ten stops. So if you can get 250 in, you know, four, four hours, four and a half hours, 250, that ain't too bad. Especially being out there in uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I ain't bad, man. So, bam, there y'all go, man. Y'all see how easy it is to find yourself some loads, some contracts, um, just anything with these companies, man. It's, it's easy. Don't let these people make it seem like it's hard to do this. It's not. All you got to do is put in the work and do the research, and you will be able to get your van, non-authority, some work. All you need is that LLC entity, man. All you need is the entity. Whatever one you choose to have, that's on you. But you need that EIN number. Let's get it and let's go. So I hope the information in this video was a big help and added some value to your business and to your personal life and also kind of broke it down in an easier way into showing you how to obtain loads for yourself. Make sure you share this video, man. I'm dropping a whole lot of game on y'all for real. And this easy game, y'all. You can get out here and do it. Don't believe these people on these Facebook groups talking about it ain't no working out and stuff. Ain't no working stuff out here. Most definitely. Is it more saturated? For sure. Over this pandemic, you know, a lot more people have acquired vans and stuff like that and figured out the game. So, of course, it's a little more saturated. But is that stopping us from getting it? 
nah, we hustlers, man. So we're going to keep it going regardless. Either way, it's your boy DG Got Hustle. I appreciate y'all for tuning in and watching another good video that adds some value to your life. Most definitely tap in with your boy, man. Let's get it. Let's go. Ha!